Hey there, and welcome to Draw Anything and Everything. I'm your artist, Mickey Malarkey. You know, one of my favorite things to draw is something that I've never drawn before. Even if it ends up a complete disaster, it's so much fun going on the journey and the adventure and seeing the finished product. All you need to do to make a really great picture is to have something to draw on, something to draw with, and a lot of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Okay, what do you feel like drawing today? There are so many possibilities. Let's see what the imagination box gives us in terms of some ideas. All right, I'm loving the first one already. It is a monster truck. Excellent, that's like a truck, but bigger. Our second one is, hmm, this is gonna be tricky. Limbo? So limbo could be a couple of things. It could be kind of being stuck between two places, or it could also be a dance where you have to lean back. Oh, I'm not very good at that. The third and final idea is fire. <laughs> All right, we have some great ideas. Are you ready? Cause I'm ready. Let's get drawing. I think today's picture is gonna be a little tough. We have a monster truck Limbo, I have no idea what we're gonna do with that. And fire. Okay, well, let's just dive right in. And I think the best way to start is with the monster truck. So, I don't know, have you ever drawn a truck before? Um, we're gonna start it looking just like any ordinary truck. You know, it doesn't have to be anything particularly weird or zany. Just a regular truck that people drive every single day to and from work, to the grocery store, whatever, whatever the case might be. And you know, trucks have that nice flat back here, so we we'll really make sure we emphasize that. Has the windows, they'll have some nice doors here, right, up in there. Um, but here's where it starts to get a little wacky. We don't have normal tires on a monster truck. Nope. We have something very different. We have these giant, giant, big, huge, humongous tires. So I'm gonna draw one starting, that's not the tire, I know what you're thinking. It's gonna start over here and go all the way around with this giant tire. It's so weird. And then this other one here, I'm gonna put a little circle around there. And we're gonna have another giant tire coming around here. And that's the look of our monster truck. You know, sometimes they have like an exhaust here. That's where the smoke comes out when they drive. Well, now you can see we've got our monster truck down. Um, and I wanna make sure that we capture some of the tire treads so that we know that this is not just a smooth wheeled monster truck, but something with some nice big tire treads. So let's build that in here. I wonder if uh, monster trucks have all seasons or winter tires, or if they ever change. They probably don't bother. They're so big they can just crush everything. If you've never been to a monster truck show, it's really fun. They crush cars, they shoot fire. Hey, fire is one of our ideas. So you know what? Once I'm done drawing these treads, why don't we incorporate some fire into this picture? I'm going to put here a giant engine the back of our monster truck. How do you feel about that? And we can use this giant engine to make all sorts of flames, because this is gonna be using it to shoot up into the sky and make our monster truck really fly. Right, there's our giant flames there. I'm gonna put one more there. Um, and we can put a little bit of contrast on the inside. There we go, just so we can see some detail. Put this fire and then also here as well right at the bottom. So that's it going boom and flying off into the sky. So really now we have the start of fire. We're gonna be able to do some more things with it. We have our monster truck. What about limbo? Well, I think I mentioned it's both being in the state of like suspension between two places, which our monster truck is, it's clearly in the air, but it's also a dance. And I think it's the dance that I want to draw here. So I'm going to draw a person who's just kind of, Doing the limbo. And if you remember in the beginning, 
Queenie lean right back. So let's get her hair nice and long and down. Why not? This way we can see gravity in action, right? There's the hair, and then we're going to have the person kind of have their arms kind of hanging it like this, right? There we go. There's one, and uh, and we're going to have her go all the way across here, and down here we're going to put her legs on an angle so you can tell she's doing is she's doing the limbo. She's doing the limbo while this truck flies over her head. Let's put the other one up here now. You can see it. And, you know, you're probably wondering, wow, look at her size. She seems pretty big in comparison to this truck. But you know what? That's fine. Why not? We can do anything we want. Uh, I'm going to give her a belly shirt too. Why not? How low can you go? And she's going pretty low. So let's now give her some floor. And we have the start of our picture. So let's pause for a moment and uh, give some color, right? Just to set us up. I think our truck, I would like to see it be a nice, nice green, right? I love a nice green truck. When I was growing up, there was a monster truck that lived down the street from my house. And I remember telling my parents, I hope that someday when I grow up, my car that I drive every day to work and to the grocery store will be a monster truck. Let's give that yellow look at the front. We're gonna need a lot of silver here, just to you know give it some chrome look here. I'm sad to tell you that that isn't the car that I drive today, but I'm still holding out hope that someday the car that I'm gonna get to drive will be a giant monster truck. And everyone on the road will say, look at how cool that is. I'm gonna use this dark color here for the wheels. There we go. There we go. And over here as well. Dark color for the wheels. And I would like, I'm feeling like this picture needs a little bit of blue. It's just a little bit empty without some blue. So I'm gonna give some blue there. I'm gonna give some blue there. Remember, we can do fire any way we want. So I'm actually gonna draw some fire over here. And uh, this is like a, maybe a sticker on the side of the, of the truck, or it's a, it's a paint job, a nice custom paint job. But let's get some fire in there. Let's make sure that this is silver as well. And now, coloring fire, you know I love to do this. We always start the same way, which is red here, then the orange, and then the yellow. I'm gonna do it backwards just to show you that I can. I'm gonna start with the yellow there. Then I'm gonna to expand to the orange here, right? Just a little bit of orange in the middle. And then we're gonna have the red as our outside color. This is a this is a different color of fire, right? There you go. The truck goes and flies overhead. Our daring limboer. There she is. There's that. And then finally I'll end it with this other orange, this bright orange. Let's just get it in here, right? To to fill in the last final gaps and this part over here. There we go. It does still need a little bit of yellow, I think. It's looking a little sparse with just the red, so I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow just to wrap that part up. Oh, nice, look at that flame. Okay, Limboer. I love me a good, mm, let's go purple. Why not? Nice purple shirt. There she is. And for her pants, we can do this kind of, mm, there's so many choices. Uh, let's go with this color. This is that sea green, aqua green, you've seen me use before, or blue, depending on how you see it, what you want to call it. And, uh, and let's give her some color. I'm going to use this color here. All right, let's give her some nice color and uh, bring her to light. She's so beautiful. There she is. And for shoes, uh, I'm going to use this uh, kind of mahogany reddish color. That's just red. Good old fashioned red. There she is. All right, so now we have the start of things, but let's make it really epic. Let's put flames everywhere here, right? This is this is a pretty significant fire, and she's just kind of, you know, like maybe like some kind of stunt person, right? But there it is. She's right in the middle of it. Look at everyone watching this monster truck leap through the air, and uh, now we can give it some color. But we don't have to give it the same usual color that we just gave. We're gonna make it some blue flames, perhaps, right? 
What? Blue flames? That seems weird, but I think that that's a great idea because uh, we don't want it to just all look the same. We want to have a number of different colors and contrast. And blue, I think, will make it really, really cool. And we can mix in some purple with our fire. <laughs> there it is. The beautiful purple there. And we'll put some purple here. And we'll put some purple here. Matches her shirt, so it goes really nicely. And then one last final color. I'm going to use the aquamarine again. This this kind of bluish green to really like highlight this is a different kind of fire. They're using some funky ke uh, chemicals and it still matches with her outfit. So it all kind of goes together. Look at that flame. And, uh, and we will wrap it up with a little bit on the floor just to give it some color there. Anything else you want to add? We can do anything you want. I think I'm just going to write here how our monster truck driver is feeling. Whee! Hope you enjoyed. That was a ton of fun. You know what they always say in monster truck commercials? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So if you're watching this video and today's a Sunday, you're getting the full monster truck experience. That's pretty cool. I hope you had a great time. I love drawing with you as always. And I'll see you again next time. Take care now.